think to me means just the power of being a woman. Um, our gender is so powerful in its physicality, everything we go through, like childbirth and so many other things. Physically, we're so strong. Emotionally and mentally, we're so strong. So Sri Shakti means that. So the nine babies are these beautiful avatars of the goddess. And I think every woman has these different avatars in her. I think every woman has courage, has passion, has uh, beauty. And I think just as the Devi has these avatars, I think all women have them too. And they come out in different parts of our lives, um, sometimes with our lovers or with our children or at work. Different avatars come out in different ways. And I think um, the goddess represents every woman. I love beauty. I think um, there's nothing more lovely and amazing than the beauty of a woman. And um, also courage. I think women are very courageous. So for me as a dancer, um, performing arts is the most important part of my life. Um, it gives me joy. It gives me perseverance because I have to work very hard to be able to perform. Um, yeah, and I think it's, it's, it's really good for your mental health as well because you're working towards something, you're working hard. Even getting all those endorphins going like when you're doing something you love, it's just a holistic, beautiful experience. I would say dancing, I do Kuchipuri um, or even freestyle dancing just for fun and um, some yoga for sure. I think dance has made my body, um, well it's given me muscles over the years that now are just almost permanent because I've been dancing since I was a child. But I think dance gives you a lot of strength, it strengthens your core. And for a lot of women, um, classical Indian classical dance really strengthens their lower half of their body, so their hips, their legs, and it just makes you a lot stronger. What gives me the most strength is my parents' support, their belief in me. Um, I think what gives me strength is my education. That's why education is so important because it gives you a lot of courage. It gives you a lot of freedom to do what you want. It gives me a lot of strength to do something with my life because I have been given this opportunity to do so. So my relationship with food is not the most healthy. I love to eat. Um, I love junk food, which is terrible. And slowly over the years, I'm just trying to change these bad habits and get a little healthier. Um, not just to be, not only to be fit and look a certain way, but I think healthy food makes you feel really good as well. So I want to experience that on a daily basis. So I'm really struggling with food right now. <laughs> Dance has taught me that um, Perseverance is key. Hard work, you can achieve anything with hard work. Sometimes I go to a routine, which my gurus are teaching me in the beginning, that seems impossible. And two weeks later, I'm doing it so well, or one month later, I'm doing it so well. So dance teaches me that anything is possible with hard work. And uh, it teaches me discipline. I celebrate the baby within me by taking care of myself. Um, I, I get enough sleep. I, I love to eat, so I eat well. Um, I really do a lot of things which are like me time uh, activities like maybe going for a massage or getting my nails done. I actually take out a lot of time for myself. I don't know if I'm the best person to send this message because I've had my highs and lows during COVID but I think it's to not to panic um, but at the same time find a balance where you are very careful but at the same time not panicking. Um, so it's just to find that balance where you can lead your life and move on and move ahead with life because we don't know how long COVID is going to be around for, so you can't stop your life. Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't know if women are inspired by me, but um, if they are, I would just say that um, just know that everybody is is human and you should do your best. And I think I have so many imperfections, but I go ahead and do what I want to do anyway. So don't let um, things stop you. Don't let this feeling that, oh, I may not be good at this, I may not be perfect, stop you. Go ahead and do whatever you love. My blessings is definitely my family I, and uh, my childhood. I think when you have a beautiful family and a good childhood, that foundation really takes you far in life. And I think um, you can really build on it so well. And I'm so grateful for that. 
There are so many, honestly, this list, um, I can go on for a very, very long time, but I'll just quickly just say a few and they're um, um, Oprah. As a child, until now, I love just hearing anything Oprah has to say. I would say Michelle Obama um, for her strength, her grace. And I think um, Michelle Obama really shines in everything she does. And that's really inspiring for me. My gurus, um, uh, Radha Aunty and Koshali Aunty, Radha uh, Reddy and Koshali Reddy, um, their journeys of what they have built with Kuchipuri and the name they have um, given Kuchipuri is so beautiful. And it's it's really a testament to their hard work and everything they do every day, um, which I admire so much. I think my mother, for sure, um, she is grace personified. She's so elegant and beautiful. But I think I admire her the most for the childhood she gave us. Um, she really, I, I can't, I mean, I cannot be more grateful to anyone in this world for anything but the childhood she's given us. I'm the most grateful for that, I think, in life. And I think... Um, Lastly, on my five, um, there are so many, but I would say, um, who else? Um, my grandmother. Um, so my father's mother, um, we used to call her Ammi, and she passed away recently, but she's taught me unconditional love. And I don't think if she wasn't in my life, I don't think I would ever be able to experience that. So because she's taught me this, um, I really admire her and I love her.